Good afternoon everybody. Today we have our 2000 Grady White Sailfish 272 model powered by twin 200 horsepower Yamaha HPDI fuel injected two stroke motors. These are uh, turn the key and they start right up. Uh, they are not nearly as loud as the old style two strokes. They're pretty quiet, not quite as quiet as a four stroke, but just as quiet. They don't smoke nearly as much either just an initial startup really. On the back here we have an integrated swim platform with hydraulic steering for the motors. The integrated swim platform allows easy boarding on the dock as well as the walk-through transom which is located right here so that you don't have to climb over the gunnel. We also have oil fills which are located right here for both motors. Uh, aft rinse off shower. This can also be used as a fighting, uh, you know, to pull in a larger fish or something like that, but it is a walkthrough transom, which is nice. All the bolsters on the back of the boat have been replaced uh, by us. Brand new. We also have the seat cushion back here that goes there for your butt. I'll show you that. They're in the aft cabin. The boat shows very well for this year. It does have a soft spot from here, like right, it's a two by two soft spot over the hatch here, which is pretty common for Grady Whites. It's because these inspection hatches where the caulk wears out and then water slowly penetrates, but uh, it's an easy fix by just removing the screws, lifting up the hatch for our winter project, take it to your local fiberglass shop and put it back on in the spring. Uh, it just needs the wood replaced in between and then re-glassed. It's pretty simple repair in the grand scheme of things. The rest of the floor in the boat is solid. If you've been looking for Grady's and hunted for Grady's, you'll know that that's a pretty common occurrence on most boats, unless they've already fixed it. Uh, back here, we have an aerated live well. Raw water wash down, as well as your fresh water fill. Dual, uh, triple batteries, one for accessories, one for the port motor, and the other for the starboard. There's where you switch your fuel around as well. These have two tanks, a 200 gallon tank and a 100 gallon tank, total of 300 gallons of fuel. Ladder back chairs, which is a factory upgrade, cushions. In good shape, a little bit of sun wear on the top of uh, that one. I'll walk around the front here before I get to the cockpit. This does have a factory hard top. Here is your waste pump out right here. A lot of the Grady's will also have the chipping around the bow pulp at hard top and the hatches. This does not have those. Windless anchor. Anchor locker with a bunch of line in there. Forward hatch for uh, you can raise and it allows for a nice wind tunnel through the cabin as well as your two side windows. We have the full enclosure for the boat. It is in good shape. It fits. There is a tear on the back curtain. One of the sheets about six inches long. It is not brand new, but they are uh, very see-through and not sun-faded and cloudy. So the enclosure is in fair shape and above average condition. There's tons of space around this gunnel, which is really nice because you can walk up here without you know, turning around sideways. There are two blemishes in the fiberglass you guys can see that right there like there was a repair done there's also one on the other side about the same area maybe there was they had something mounted there on both sides and they took it off and they filled it uh, but anyway just showing you insulated fish boxes here as well as um,
There you go. Tackle storage under there on both sides. 305 hours the boat has, along with the motors. Hydraulic steering. Richie compass. Hydraulic trim tabs. Boat comes with a Garmin GPS and depth finder combo unit. Color, but older. Twin tacks. Fuel management gauge. I don't think there's anything in here. This is an open locker. We have a VHF radio up here and a AM FM radio right there. Both work. Twin windshield wipers for a rainy day. Here's your windless anchor control. Let me walk down to the cabin real quick and then we'll get her up on plane and show you how she runs. Headliner shows well. No mold or mildew. Heavy water stains. Don't have that. Storage underneath the entire V-berth. As well as the fill-in here. This boat does not have the optional shore power. It only is run on 12 volt power. We have a refrigerator here sink and a alcohol stove underneath here which is in there or storage here enclosed head with a pump out and a wash sink as well as a little courtesy light in here the window opens up in there manuals which are right here whatever came with the boat Kind of show. Here's the aft cabin, as well as the rest of the cushions. This is more of a storage area, more than you can't really sleep in there. But uh, here are the rest of the cushions, all in good shape, as you can see. In the enclosure, which is all right here, in the aft cabin. I was looking for the back cushion for the seat, but I don't see it. Maybe it does not have one. I thought we had one. Oh, no, that's the table. So uh, it doesn't have a back cushion for the uh, seat back here. I thought it had one, but it does not. I'll check the shop again to make sure we didn't uh, misplace it or put it in a different boat. But anyway, that's the sailfish. I'm going to get her up on plane and show you how she runs. Kyle's going to take over here. Mike's going to make his turn here. He's going to go full throttle on this straightaway so you can see the top end speed of the boat.
And remember, here at M&M Boats, we sell boats for less guaranteed. Visit us at our website at www.mmboats.com.